tons of hard-hitting sea power, one of the most powerful battleships afloat. A salute to Sydney from fighting men with a grand fighting record. They've seen service all over the world, and most of them have been with King George V since he went into commission in 1941. But the Nips will have cause to remember. Prominent in the early Mediterranean fighting, she survived mass dive bombing attacks to prove her worth against Japan in the recent bombardment of the Ryukyu Islands. She's a force to be reckoned with. Illustrious has a unique distinction. She was the first warship to test the capacity and efficiency of Sydney's great Captain Cook Graving Dock. Sometime before the official opening ceremony, these scenes took place. As the great aircraft carrier moves into the dock, the huge floating caissons or gates close slowly behind her. Within four hours, the water is pumped out and the giant hull is exposed for the mechanical operation that will send her out to sea again, fighting fit and raring to go. Fighter aircraft of the fleet air arm coming up to the flight deck. In two engagements against the Japanese recently, they accounted for 34 enemy aircraft. Testing out the arrestor hook that will grip the landing wire when the plane comes home to roost. Men of the Royal Marines. 14-inch guns provide a background for parade ground drill. While on one of the men of action, Rear Admiral Sir Philip Vian, who when commander of the Cossack, rescued 326 merchant seamen from the hell ship Altmark. These men...